you know, this week is pulmonary rehab week, and we want to take this opportunity to recognize the staff at Spectrum Health who work tirelessly to provide personalized care and individualized programs for all of their patients. Here to tell us more, Spectrum Health pulmon pulmonologist and medical director of pulmonary rehabilitation, that's a lot of syllables, Dr. John Cantor. Good morning, doctor. How are you? I'm great. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be with you during uh, Pulmonary Rehabilitation Week. Yeah, this is a big week for you guys. Well, let's start with the definition for those watching who may not know what pulmonary rehab means. So it's a, an eight-week program, plus or minus. Uh, there's two sessions per week. Um, and basically, it's a supervised uh, exercise and education program that's conducted by a team of uh, professionals that is, are specially trained for this uh, program. Uh, they're respiratory therapists and exercise specialists that are very dedicated and hardworking. And they design an exercise program for patients with chronic lung disease that's tailored to their needs, uh, desires, and their abilities. Uh, there's also an education component, uh, primarily uh, informal lectures every week. Um, the topics vary. Uh, they can be uh, more information about the patient's underlying disease and more details about the prognosis medications, uh, how to take their inhalers, oxygen therapy, smoking cessation, um, uh, various topics like that. It sounds like there's a lot going on there, but in short, that pulmonary rehab means it, a, a supervised exercise program. Well, how do you measure success? I mean, most people go into the gym, they measure success by how much they can lift or how many reps they can do. What, what does success look like in this exercise program? Yeah, so it's a little bit different than that. But when they, uh, after a referral, they have an initial evaluation by our team. And there's a number of tests that are performed initially. So we look at scales of depression, the quality of life, shortness of breath. But we actually have them walk, uh, do a six minute walk to see how far they can walk. And then that's repeated uh, after the eight weeks. And almost invariably, we see uh, significant improvements in all of those measures. Um, but most importantly, I think it's, it's really important to, to bring this out, is that patients who participate fully in the program uh, and complete the program uh, are uh, less likely to get sick uh, after that. They're less likely to have flare-ups or exacerbations of their disease. Um, they're less likely to end up in the emergency room or in the hospital uh, from a flare-up. Uh, and studies have shown that, and it, it also shown that patients who do have flare-ups uh, have a worse prognosis from their disease uh, and they have an accelerated decline in their lung function uh, from their disease. So I think that's a really important beneficial aspect of the program. And you mentioned this earlier, but I wanna clarify, who, who can participate in this program? You said a referral, yeah. so what types of patients are we talking about? So virtually anybody with uh, chronic lung disease uh, can participate. So most of our patients our patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, but we also see quite a few patients with asthma, uh, pulmonary fibrosis, uh, and even patients who are pre and post lung transplant. Uh, and then there's various numbers of other patients with chronic lung disease that we see as well. Well, you, you obviously are dealing with COVID as we all are. Uh, I'm sure that has affected this program. Is this an in-person rehab? Is it virtual? Is it both? Yeah. So. Um, you know, back in March of last year, just like uh, most uh, elective clinical services, you know, we had to shut down for a while. And so what we did is we sent out uh, packets uh, uh, that, uh, with exercise instructions to the patients. We called the existing patients and the new referrals on a weekly basis uh, to encourage them to exercise and to answer any questions. But we quickly realized that that was not enough. Uh, so we took the opportunity to develop what's called a virtual program. So this allows us to interact with the patients in their home via video feed through the internet. And we've developed that program over time and it's been quite successful. And I view that as a silver lining in the coronavirus pandemic because uh, we're gonna be using this going forward. It allows us to reach out to patients that we otherwise couldn't reach out to, patients who had transportation issues getting to the in-person gyms or patients uh, who live too far away from them. And so we look forward to using this in the future. Well, Dr. Cantor, we wanna once again recognize and thank you and your colleagues, the entire staff, uh, for what they are doing 
uh, spectrumhealth.org slash patient dash care slash pulmonology. Of course, that's a long link. So we'll, we'll give you that link at fox17online.com if you're interested in more information. Doctor, thanks again for the time this morning.